Flu and the common cold are caused by different viruses. Um, flu is caused by a virus called influenza, often referred to as flu. The symptoms are often more severe and more prolonged. Children are two to three times more likely to catch flu than adults, and this is because their immune system is not as developed or as strong as adults. The impacts of childhood flu are not a trivial issue. Thousands of children under the age of 14 will present at their GP with flu or flu-like illness um, or its complications and many may end up being hospitalised and some may die. Children should be immunised against flu because it's the best way to protect the child. Um, children are also very good at spreading flu, so by immunising them you're preventing transmission onto their friends and family. It will take a number of years to look at the full impact or measure the full impact of the programme for children, um, but it is estimated to prevent um, around 200 deaths, um, around 1,100 hospitalisations and around 33,000 um, consultations at GP practices for flu-like illness or its complications. The Childhood Flu Immunisation Programme for Scotland is a relatively new addition to the Childhood Immunisation Programme overall. So we're fortunate to be able to offer the immunisation to all preschool children from two years and above and to all children at primary school. And the advantage really of the immunisation programme being at primary school is that the majority of children will actually have the immunisation in school, which makes it much easier for them. It will be administered in most cases by the, uh, the school health team, probably the, the school nurse. The idea is to get as many immunisations Organisations done as possible before flu starts circulating and causing real problems. The actual vaccine that's used in the immunisation programme is a weakened form of the real flu virus so that it's not possible for it to actually cause the symptoms and the serious illness that, that flu itself causes in, in people. What it does however is the, the actual immunisation mimics the natural flu virus which means that the child's immune response recognises this and then if they come in contact with the real flu virus they mount a much quicker and stronger response which means that they're much better able to fight it off. The huge advantage to the flu immunisation programme in Scotland for children is that we're using a different type of vaccine. This one is actually a nasal spray vaccine, so it's not an injection. It's a completely painless spray which goes into both nostrils for the child. And the other advantage of this particular nasal vaccine is that it's actually much more effective in children, so it provides much better protection than the previous injectable vaccines. It's suitable for the vast majority of children, it's not suitable for all. There's more information in the leaflet that parents will receive from the school and also on the consent form to be able to identify the small number of children for whom the nasal vaccine won't be suitable. And in those cases, they will be offered an alternative vaccine as an injection because it's still important for them to be protected against flu. In the vast majority of children, there aren't any side effects from the immunisation. Some of the more common side effects that can happen are very mild, tend to be headache, muscle aches, sometimes a blocked nose or a runny nose. And it's really important to remember that even these minor side effects are so much less serious than getting flu itself. There's more detail on potential side effects if parents are concerned in the information leaflet that comes from the school and also on the Immunisation Scotland website. So parents will be contacted by the individual school their child attends and told when they're doing their immunisation sessions. Parents will be sent out an information leaflet which they should read and also a consent form which they will be asked to sign which will give their consent for their child to have the flu immunisation. And we would really plead with parents to return the consent form as soon as they can and certainly by the closing date to allow the immunisation schedule to take place.
There are lots of sources of information on immunisation and it's really important that parents are well informed. If you have any further questions, then first port of call could potentially be your school nurse team or in fact even your general practitioner. There's also the Immunisation Scotland website which is a fantastic resource and parents can also telephone if they would prefer NHS Inform who again are a great source of information. Thank you.